the thing about open models, for example, is that um, if you have, so Facebook is releasing their own set of AI models, right? Um, so it's like sort of like releasing a Taylor Swift song on Napster. Once you put that AI model out there, it can never be brought back, right? So this is not, the thing about these AI models that people need to get is it's like you, you throw like $100 million to train GPT-4 and you end up with this like really, really big file. Like it's like a brain file. Think of it like a brain inside of an MP3 file. But, um, you know, that, that model file, if you load it up in an MP3, sorry, if you load the MP3 into an MP3 player, instead of gobbledygook, you get Taylor Swift's, you know, song, right? With AI, you train an AI model and you get this gobbledygook, but you open that into an MP3, uh, AI player called Inference, which is basically how you get that blinking cursor uh, on ChatGPT. And now you have a little brain you can talk to. But what they won't tell you is that you can find you can do something called fine tuning, and with one hundred and fifty dollars, someone in our team ripped off the safety controls of that of that model. And there's no way that Meta can prevent someone from doing that. So there's this thing that's going on in the industry now that I, I want people to get, which is um, open source open weight models for AI are not just uh, ins insecure; they're insecure a bull.